What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today we're hitting Town Hall 9 with witches all day. Today I'm hanging out over in One Hive Invicta. Yes, again, in this war there's been so much content. I've made four videos from this war alone and a live stream. Guys, we had a video the other day focusing on witches at Town Halls 11 and Town Hall 10. But today, we had to give love to Town Hall 9, and the reason being, every single Town Hall 9 base in this war was demolished, and it was done with witches. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. If you're into Clash of Clans, subscribe to the channel for daily Clash of Clans videos. So, we're just going to randomly go through, and all I know, guys, is that I was watching them on the live stream, and they were all witches, and they were all hot. And we're going to take a look at what Hitter Nation does right now against this Town Hall 9 base, and you know, guys... It's kind of funny these days, looking at Town Hall 9, it looks like Town Hall 8 used to look two years ago. Now with Town Hall 12, everything being so big, so grand, so many defenses, these bases actually look small. So let me know in the comments below, are you a Town Hall 9 or below, or are you a Town Hall 10 or above? Really curious to what you are rocking. What we have right here is a bit of a Gobo Wee Wee light on the second Wii, uh, or the first Wii. The wizards, yeah, not a lot of wizards in this attack, but a lot of witches, a lot of golem, a lot of hero action going into the base. Jump spells to get everything in there. No wall breakers being used in this one, but plenty of, uh, of tank and plenty of witches. And I mean, guys, two days ago I had a video about witches being nerfed. Did this actually happen? Was there a nerf to the witches? Like, they're still dominating. And, and this war is a great example of that. Town Hall 9s, I think there were five attacks. They were all taken down by a very similar attack strategy being a, uh, a Gobo Wee Wee or a Witch Slap or a Frozen Witch attack strategy. So it just it makes me ask the question, witches? They're not dead, guys. They are here to stay. So that's really not a question. That's more of a statement. But witches are strong. They are dominant. And people have learned how to use them and how to be effective with them, as we're seeing in these attacks right here. Hitter Nation did a beautiful job in this war using this strategy, just demolishing bases and pulling in three stars for one Hive Invicta. Not much is left to this base. A couple of skeletons are running themselves around, doing some tanking for those witches. Now the Expo is finally targeting one of those witches, but the skeletons, they're in. They're starting to chow down on that Expo, but will it be enough? I don't think it will be. Maybe it will. Yes, the skeletons and witch combination took down that Expo for the three star. We're going to roll right into the next attack. We're just going down one more. And oh my goodness, wouldn't you believe it? It's Hitter Nation again on a base that's not that different. We have two, make that three golem, ten witches, only two wizards. So it's more of a gobo wee because you only have two wizards, which doesn't really count. Out of the clan castle, that's how you're going to get your bowlers here at Town Hall 9. And look at this funnel being created in the east and in the south. The witches are just going to spawn those skeletons, which is going to tank those single, uh, those uh, point defenses. That's the word I was looking for. And the golem, of course, is tanking as well. Three golem, one in the core, two on the outsides, and now the push into the core of the base is happening. Lava Hound out of this clan castle, which is going to slow down our queen, but the witches will help out and allow, and, uh, you know, shoot down at Lava Hound as well, which is another nice thing about having the witches in the composition. They could deal with those air troops that come out of the clan castle. Right now, you know, it's always so hard to watch these witch attacks because there's nothing happening in a particular part of the base. Basically, the attack comes here and it just goes straight through the base, wiping everything out along the way, not leaving anything behind. So you have to kind of keep a wide angle view on the attack so you could see everything happening. I mean, look at these witches down here. They're dominating because their, their skeletons are tanking for them through the base. The bowler's still alive. The queen's still alive in the core of the base with her ability. Skeletons walking around the top of the base with the witches trailing behind. The skeletons are tanking for those witches. An excellent example as to why witches are seeing so much success, why they're so popular, and why so many people use them in war. I think I'll throw you another attack or two just to kind of pound this example and this point home to you guys. But Town Hall 9 is uh, is Witch Haven, guys. It's just going to continuously be demolished by witches. Puff Master 2.0 coming in on this one with the same exact attack strategy. It's here in front of us, guys. This attack, it's unstoppable at Town Hall 9. Throw a like on the video if you believe that witches are fairly unstoppable. Is there a base design that you could put together to stop these witches? 
Let me know in the comments below if you think so. And uh, I know some of you are watching this and you say, oh, it's a spam attack. You're just spamming in the troops and letting it go. And that may be true, guys. But at this point in time, this attack is one that, um, that has a beautiful hit rate, which means it's pulling in stars in war and it's doing really well right now in Clash of Clans. So if you're looking to win wars at Town Hall 9, I would say a good way to go about it is to use this strategy. Now, are there other strategies that work well? Of course there are. Hog Riders, they are unbelievable right now in the meta. Lava Loon and Laloon have been dominant since day one. The problem with that attack strategy is it takes practice and if you don't have time to practice in friendly challenges or while farming, it's hard to get good at it without the practice. But this one here, less practice needed. It's a little bit easier to just jump in and do. And uh, well, it's seeing success here, guys. So you can't hate on it that much when you get an attack that's dominating. I can see it being frustrating as a defensive player trying to hold against one of these attacks. But hey, you could use the same attack too, I guess. But let me know in the comments below if you are a lover or a hater of these witch strategies at Town All 9. This attack right here, just about done. Going to be pulling in the 2-star or the 3-star as the Town Hall goes down. The Archer Tower and the Queen's Pedestal going to be the last two things to go down in this attack. Looks like our Queen, she's a little bit dazed and confused right there. But right there, Puff Master 2.0 pulling in a triple. I'm going to show you guys one more attack, but I'm going to try and find a different attacker. Here we go. Lil Girl coming in on this attack and okay. Something a little bit different, 13 Witches, only 2 Golem on this one, and 4 Barbarians, Maxed Heroes, 3 Jumps, and 1 Heal. No Rage Spells in this one, guys. You know there's going to be Bowlers in the Clan Castle. Let's see how this goes. Honestly, the composition looks a lot like a Frozen Witch, but there's no freezing going on in this attack, so it is not a Frozen Witch. We have the Golem coming in, and actually, I take it back, guys. I said Bowlers in the Clan Castle, but there are no Bowlers. It's actually another Golem, which looks to be a max level Golem coming out of the CC, which is going to do some serious tanking for Little Girl right here as she pushes into the base. There's the heal spell. Keeping those Golem up, those Witches up, those Heroes up as we take down that Tesla farm. Nice jump spell. Second jump spell already used on the attack. And you could guess where the third will be used. My guess is right there. We'll see in a moment if I was correct. But this attack is basically tanked Witches. There's the poison spell in the core of the base giant bomb taking out a lot of those and I was a little bit wrong actually with where the placement of that jump spell would go it was actually a few tiles down allowing all the troops to go straight down towards the south the queen is going to continue her walk around the base and look even these witches right here are going to clean out the entire southern side of this base this reminds me a lot of a town hall nine attack that we saw a few years ago called avalanche except for that attack was multiple golem and a whole lot of wizards cleaning out a base this we have a whole lot of golem and a whole lot of witches cleaning out the side of the base. So I'm not sure if this one actually has a name to it or if it's just a golem witch attack with hero support. If you know something different, guys, you could let me know in the comments below. Because for me, I'm not sure what the name of this attack is, but I do like it. I, honestly, this may be my favorite one of the day just because all you got are golem and witches. That's really it. The barbarians are not going to do much besides help with cleanup, which is not even going to be needed. Cleanup is not needed on this base. The base is already cleaned up by the core of the attack. Witches right here are going to do a nice job as they shoot over the wall. Try and beat down that wizard tower a little bit. One witch remains, but the witch is being tanked by the skeletons. Oh, she did not finish the job. She did not. So we have our queen pounding. We have a golem tanking that archer tower. And we have one witch coming on through. It's only one defense left in this one, guys. As the queen pounds, the golem and those golemite will make their way closer. And, uh, well, that's going to be GG right there. What a beautiful attack. Little girl pulling it in. And what better time to be using witches than a time like right now when... If we go over here to the troop compositions, let's get rid of one of these bowlers. Uh, let's get rid of two of the bowlers. When witches only cost three dark elixir. That's pretty crazy right there, guys. So cheap. Let's train my bowlers back up right there. That's actually the attack that I've been farming with because everything is so darn cheap. But my question to you is, will you start farming or attacking or warring with witches? Me, now that I have my maxed out heroes, king queen and warden i only need dark elixir for a few more things in the laboratory and then it means nothing to me so i'm going to be doing a lot of farming with dark elixir troops which is going to allow me to then get more and more elixir and more and more gold 
to get all these walls done. You guys have been making fun of me for my walls for so long. Now it's time for me to get these walls up. And that's the grind. That's what's going to happen. But right now I have a builder free. And uh, I think it's time that I use the builder. Is there anything to clear up in the sidebar? No. Sidebars look good. Let's go ahead and upgrade my tornado trap. It's going to take only two days. Bam, there we go. Now no builders. Everything's working. And, uh, and things are all looking good in the world. I do have a couple of the... Uh, the Builder Enhancement spells, but right now I don't have a ton of loot, so I'm not going to use them. But, yeah, that's it today, guys. We had a little bit of rambling about my base and my situation right now, but some of you guys like to hear about that stuff, which is totally cool. Remember, sub the channel if you like it, like the video if you like it, and if you want to hang out with me, come find me on Twitter, at Echo Threw Me. And, guys, I'm going to throw it in there today because I haven't in the past week or so. G Fuel has sponsored this video. Save yourself 10% using code ECHO at gfuel.com. I drink it all the time. If you want to try it or if you're interested in stocking back up, use code ECHO and save yourself 10%. Much love to One Hive Invicta. One live stream, four videos for these guys out of one war. Unbelievable stuff. I'll see all you guys back here again tomorrow. Until then, be good.